Millennial Farmer vs. Larson Farms YouTube has served as a medium for many professionals to teach people about their practices and to share their journey with the world. As more and more young, tech-savvy farmers take over their family's legacy and get into farming, they start changing the way things work. These young farmers wanted the best of both worlds, old practices with new improvements. Today, a lot of people have renewed interest in farming and wish to learn more about how it works, which led to the rising popularity of YouTube channels in this genre. Today, we're going to be comparing two such channels, Millennial Farmer and Larson Farms. So without further ado, let's get started. The Millennial Farmer, Zach Johnson, is a fifth-generation farmer from western Minnesota. He is continuing his family's legacy and farming over 2,600 acres of land. Wheat, corn, and soybeans are their three main agricultural products. He started his YouTube channel as a hobby. In September 2017, one of his videos went viral, and since then, he's been posting videos about how to use and take care of heavy farm equipment and do all sorts of other tasks that are done for large-scale farming. The nicest aspect of Zach's video is that he records the majority of them himself while holding the camera in his hands. His father, wife, Becky, three children, and adopted Becky's niece makes up his family. High school classmates Zach and Becky fell in love and wed in 2007. Becky spends her entire day running the Millennial Farmer's business. She edits all the videos and oversees the money. Additionally, they offer Millennial Farmer merch such as t-shirts, caps, sweatshirts, and beer cozies. Through his YouTube channel, Zach has also adopted and taught the general public about the new generation of farming, but he has also managed to maintain the fundamentals of farming so that the beneficial practices of traditional farming methods are preserved. Through NGOs, the majority of the profits from the YouTube channel Millennial Farmer are given to families in need. By encouraging a cooperative discourse among everyone, he hopes to strengthen the bond between farmers and customers. Larson Farms was established in 1918 and is located in West Central Minnesota. They are also fifth-generation farmers like the Millennial Farmer and mainly produce corn and soybean. They love agriculture and share the ups and downs of farming with their viewers. They respect their land immensely and try their best to improve the land that they farm on. It's mostly run by Chet Larson, although he's technically not an owner of the farm and is working his way to being an owner. The Larsons have not disclosed the acreage of their land as they believe it is private information that they do not wish to share online, but it is quite obvious from their videos that they own quite a large piece of land to themselves. Due to this, they use machinery and equipment that's amongst the best choices available in the market and also upgrade their equipment as and when necessary. The whole family is quite invested in the farm and it is heartwarming to see how much passion they work with. A major reason behind their success is their knowledge of farming. Having been established so long ago, they sure know a great deal about farming and subscribers flock to them for this knowledge. Now let's get to comparing both these channels with each other. Channel Stats The Millennial Farmers channel was started back in April 2016 and now they have over 973,000 subscribers with about 521 video uploads which have garnered over 283 million views. They receive 7.4 million views monthly on average. On the other hand, Larson Farm started its YouTube channel in March 2010, and they have about 348,000 subscribers. In the span of about 12 years, they have uploaded 505 videos and received over 138 million views. They garner 4.3 million views monthly on average through their channel was started way earlier than Millennial Farms. They lack in terms of channel statistics. The Millennial Farmer wins this round. Revenue Generation you guys can probably guess that because of their higher subscriber count and views, the Millennial Farmer earns more than Larson Farms. If you thought so, you're absolutely right. Millennial Farmer earns about $359,000 a year as opposed to Larson Farms, who earns anywhere between $13,000 to $209,000 yearly. The Millennial Farmer also sells merchandise, so their gross earnings might even be higher. They won this round as well. Channel Growth We've already talked about this a bit, but let's go over it again. The Millennial Farmer's YouTube channel started six years ago after Larson Farms, and despite that, his channel has almost three times as many subscribers as Larson Farms and more video uploads as well. The determining factors behind his growth may be the video quality, consistency, and personality. Either way, the Millennial Farmer wins this round too. I guess it's safe to assume that all of you know who the winner is by now. If you follow any of these channels and stand them, do let us know what you were rooting for. Winner or not, both these channels are pretty amazing. And I have huge respect for farmers in general. They are the ones producing the food that we cannot sustain without and I am grateful for that. 
That's it for today, folks. As always, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And also press that bell icon so you never miss an update from us.